It's all right. Come in, why don't you? Where's Kirk? Hey? Kirk, have you heard from him? Has he come home? Not so as I've noticed. Why? So he's still on the run? Most like it, yeah. Ring his mobile. I have done, all the time. There's no signal. He's probably sheltering in some cave on some moor. Bleak, windswept, out of range. Yeah? Or his battery's flat. Yeah, true. Anyway, so have you not seen him then? No, why? Because he's off the hook now. Hey? Oh, it doesn't matter. I've just got to find him. Psst! Has she gone? I thought you were on the run. I know, but I got fed up. Bye. Some fugitive you turned out to be. So why don't you want to see Fizz? How can I? She's expecting a postcard from the Foreign Legion. I can't tell her I was missing my duvet. So where have you been? Down the cop shop. I turned myself in. By the time they got round to me, it was the early hours. Oh, dear. So what are you going to do about Fizz? Go and see her. Try and persuade her I'm still tough. Oh, yeah? Go on, then. Well, I think I'll have a bit of a lie down first. Oh, give me strength. Morning. Uh, morning, Rita. And uh, how are you this morning? Well, I'll be better when I've got a cup of tea down me. Everything all right this morning? Yes, 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 yes. Fine, fine. Look, I'll I, I tell you what. Why don't you uh, take your tea upstairs and, and have it there? Relax a bit. We're, we're not busy. Well, we will be Saturday morning. Well, I'll give you a shout if I need you. <laughs> I know what you're doing, you know. Do you? Yes, and I'm not ungrateful. You're thinking that I ought to relax before the court case on Monday morning, but it's just the opposite. I need things to happen to take my mind off it. Work's the best therapy for me. <laughs> Is this it? Yeah. And I went all the way to Inkman Street for that and all. What does it say? Hardly note. What is the point? You ring up the papers with an exclusive and this is what you get. Bad enough to refuse to pay anything for it, but this. Well, what? Oh, read it yourself if you can find it. Halfway down, page 10. Oh, yeah, blimey. I see what you mean. Newsagent assault charge. Rita Sullivan, newsagent of Coronation Street, will appear at Weatherfield Magistrates Court on Monday, the 2nd of February, charged with assault on a child. Assault on a child? What child? Assault how bad? What does it say in there about his permanent brain damage or the suffering of his family? Have I got brain damage? You will have, now shut it. See what I mean? What kind of newspaper is it if it don't give the news? They find out what's happened. This is sub -judy. What? They call it sub or something. Papers can't give details of the case until after the trial. That way you get a fair hearing. Only what happened to that in my case, eh? Yeah, yeah. Well, I tell you, that may be sub Judy, but this is gonna be sub -silla. I'm gonna make sure everyone on this street reads about how that child beater abused my poor Chesney. All right. No sign. No. I think he's definitely legged it somewhere. Maria can't give me any info. He didn't stay at his mum and dad's. He didn't go home last night. We should check his bank balance. Why? Well, it'll tell us where he's took money out or used his credit card. Could show up a pattern. Well, how are we going to get his bank details? I mean, blimey, they don't even like talking to him, let alone us. We're not the cops, Tyrone. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe that's what we should do. Go to the cops. And? And tell them the ring's back. No missing ring, no crime. Then they'll just put out an APB on Kirk. A what? An all points bulletin. You've been watching too much telly. Right, come on. Where? Well, I don't know anyway. We've just got to find him. So he takes you out for a meal and home to meet his mother? Sounds serious. Oh, yeah. Serious disaster. Oh, no. Well, he was all right, but his mum... Oh, I went to sit on this chair and she said I couldn't because it was her husband's. Oh, some folk are funny like that. Yeah. He'd been dead four years. No. Yeah. And when I couldn't stand it any longer, I asked if I could ring a taxi and she said I could and told me where the telephone box was to put my contribution in. So you'll be going out with him again? <laughs> oh, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't fancy being the other woman again. Anyway, well done, love. At least you're back in circulation. Yeah. Hi, Rita. Hello, love. I was just wondering if today's Gazette had come in. Yes, of course. 
Uh, Norris? Uh, the Gazettes came this morning, didn't they? Uh, no, 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 not yet. Uh, the van trouble. Oh, I'm sorry. Try us a bit later. Yeah, yeah, sure. OK, I'll see you later. Bye, love. Well, that's not very impressive, is it? I'll give them a ring, find out what time they'll be here. Eleven, I already rang. <laughs> oh, right. You know I won't be here. You're not forgotten, have you? I'm at the solicitors at 11 o'clock. No, no, I haven't forgotten. And while you're at the solicitors, the gazettes will arrive and I'll sort them out. <laughs> are you all right? Yes, why? Well, your shoulders are all tense. Uh -huh. You're always up to something when that happens. <laughs> so, the gazette now, then? No, why? Just want to see what you owe, that's all. Ah, uh, don't you trust me? Yeah, of course I trust you. But it's your mum and the Lonely Arts and the local paper, I'm bound. <laughs> of course you are. Well, I hope it's all right. I can't remember what you wrote. Yeah, I've even kept a copy. Look. Jason! Well, I'm sorry. You wrote this? Yeah. In the paper? Yeah. <laughs> Candice, we are dead. Time wasters beware. You can't write this. Of course you can. I've seen those ads. They're all a load of rubbish. All flowery. They don't tell you how. <laughs> yeah, and what does this say? Keep out me way? No, it doesn't. It says here is an honest woman who speaks her mind. I think lots of men are like that, Jason. Yeah, gluttons for punishment. I really like your mum, and I don't want to upset her. Yeah, well... I thought if I was honest, we'd get honest replies in return. I want her to have the best. I don't want any more of those smooth talkers you always talk about. I messed up, haven't I? Yeah, well... I put it might work out only... What? Well, it's best my mum doesn't see it, innit? I've no problem about pleading not guilty. The only fly in the ointment is if they ask me, did I hit him? Can't lie about that, can I? I think it's best if we consider that you were exercising your rights as a shopkeeper to protect your property. Come again? He was stealing? Yes. You caught him in the act? I did. You tried to apprehend him, during the course of which it was necessary to impart a blow? Oh, just a little clip, that's all. Exactly. In order to restrain him and recover your property. On his way out, he tripped, banged his head, and this caused the injury. So, he was the architect of his own downfall? Precisely. Well, that doesn't sound too bad. I was beginning to get quite worried. I'm afraid it's not that straightforward. Oh, I might have known. Go on. I've presented our case to you. The prosecution case will be just as compelling. There were no witnesses. Nothing on the tape from the security camera, and a fundamental difference in the account from both sides. In the end, it'll come down to who the magistrates will believe. The injured child, or you. Right, well, I give up. Sure, I'll take it out an advert. How do we get in touch with him? Just tell him he's here. Oh, Kurt, Beth, where have you been? We've been looking all over for you. Have you been on the Mars? Hey, we thought you'd be in some cave somewhere out in the countryside. Oh, no. Oh, well, come on, sit down, babe. You must be exhausted. So where have you been? Down a cop shop. You what? I couldn't face life on the run. Well, I've been on it one day. I know, but it was horrible. I've never seen so many coppers. When you want one, they know where. And when they want you, they want every street corner. So they caught you? No, I turned myself in. You what? Why? It's not like being on the run, looking over your shoulder, leaping in and out of the shadows. Turn yourself in? Me now. Oh no, babe. You disappointed in me. I'm not the romantic hero to you anymore. No, it's not that, you pillock. We risked ourselves being banged up. Hey, we took the ring back, didn't we? So it didn't look like it had been missing. Yeah, and then you needn't have stayed on the run. But you've gone and confessed, so we can be done as well. Oh, great. How are we going to get out of this? <sighs> Oh. oh, what's this? Personal service? Oh, that's what we like, isn't it, Emily? Well, I wish I could say it was the result of a new policy at the cabin, but unfortunately it isn't. Something the matter, Norris? There's a report on Lita's court case. I'm trying to keep it from her. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, great, the paper. Oh, no, wait. What? Oh, well, keep away from page 10, or at least keep it to yourself. Page 10? Why, what's on page 10? Oh, that's all she needs. Mr Sullivan been done for assault. Oh, no, why print something like that? Well, if she did it, she deserves all the bad press she gets. She didn't do it. 
Won't be too sure about that. Have her, she's got a right temper on her. Oh, that's ridiculous. Whether she's guilty or not, publicity like that is definitely not a bonus. Do, do you think it'll affect business? Without a doubt. Would you send your kiddies there to buy sweets after reading that? So, I've got to retract my statement. Yeah. We sneak the ring back so it's no longer missing. So there was no crime committed. Do you get it? Oh, yeah. Right. Brill. You again? What's this? Another confession? Crown jewels today, was it? Er, uh, no. I've come to retract my statement. Go on. What was it this time? Beaten out of you, was it? Psychological torture? Sensory deprivation? Er, uh, no. I thought you was all very nice, actually. It's just my girlfriend's took the ring back, so there's no longer a crime, eh? Have I said that wrong? Don't worry, son. Intelligence was never the predominant feature in this crime, was it? As it happens, the jeweller does know that the ring's been returned. But he also knows it was stolen in the first place, so he wants to press charges. What, even though they've got it back? Mm. However, the decision to prosecute's up to us. As it is your first offence, and you don't appear to be a master criminal, we're prepared to give you a caution. A caution? Mm, a formal warning not to do it again. On the other hand, I mean, if you do retract your statement, we'll have to open up the case again. Investigate it, catch you, prosecute you. They'd probably send you down. I'll take the caution. I'll go and get the inspector. It's the no smoke without fire syndrome, isn't it? People will read into it whatever they want to. Well, I reckon there was fire. I've heard she has flames coming out of her ears. That's nonsense. And if you'd known her as long as we have, you'd realise that. It's the effect on business that worries me. I, I haven't actually thought this through. I mean, if what Harry says is true, the impact on the cabin... What? what? Go on, Norris. What impact on the cabin? Uh, have you been telling them where I've been this morning? No. That was my business, Norris. No, it's not, love. It's the business of every decent law-abiding citizen. Which is why I phoned up the Gazette and made sure they put it in. Page 10, everyone. And in case you haven't read it, Rita Sullivan, up for assaulting a child, my child, Weatherfield Magistrates Monday, where she'll get her just desserts. Is this true? In the paper? So everybody's read it. Rita! Rita, wait, let me explain. I just don't understand how you could have kept this from me. I thought it was for the best. I'm a grown-up, Norris. Yes, but I didn't want you to be upset. As opposed to? Look, if certain people had get their mouths shut... No, then... Norris, if certain people had had the common sense to tell me what was going on, I could have been prepared. Instead of which, I was completely unprepared and made to look foolish. Oh, I'm sorry. So am I. Oh, I don't doubt your motives, Norris. They're probably all for the best. But you do see what's happened. If I'd read that piece this morning, I could have gone to the pub knowing what to expect and held my head up. Now, I never want to set foot in the place again. Kirk, Sutherland, do you understand the terms of your caution? I do. I do. <laughs> what the hell are you playing at? I was looking at you for confirmation your dozy fellow will keep to the terms of his caution. Sorry. Um, yeah, of course he will. I'll see to it. Right. Well, take him away. And don't let me see either of you down here again. No, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You've got to feel sorry for her. You know, getting your name in the paper is not a nice thing to happen. Mm -hmm. Unless it's complimentary, of course. What's that? Read her in the paper. Have you not read it, love? Here. Page 10. You know, you should be careful. Some people have been known to react in rather extreme ways after finding themselves a subject to press scrutiny. You mean top themselves? Has been known. Well, that'd be no good. You can't get cash from dead. Pardon? I mean, as long as I get justice for my baby, I'll be happy. Poor Rita. Hey, isn't it today that my ad's supposed to be in the paper? Uh, well, I don't know. Is it Candice? Um, not sure. No, nah, nothing there. Well, never mind, eh? Well, you sure, Mum? Well, you have a look. You put the ad in. Oh, it's in. Well, come on, read it out. Don't keep us in suspense. <clears throat> Share my evenings, bubbly blonde. Well, thank you. A few miles on the clock, but still goes. What? <clears throat> I'm a maxi 
Not a mini, and I would like to meet a nice man. Is this some kind of a joke? Um. Well, I thought it would stand out. Oh, it does that all right, and so do I. Well, thank you very flaming much. You go, babe. Cheers, babe. Never thought I'd see this place again. So were you really going to go to Spain, then? I was. And then I thought the French Foreign Legion would be better. <laughs> what? Why? It's for them with broken hearts, innit? And I thought, maybe if I joined up, then I could send you a postcard from faraway places like Calais or somewhere, and you're paying for me. <laughs> yeah, right. Wouldn't you have missed me, then? Oh, of course I would, babe. But what could I do once you joined up? I mean, how long was I supposed to pine for you for? I don't know. I didn't work that out. And how were you going to join him in the first place? Oh, well, that was hard. I looked in the other pages, but they weren't there. So I went down to the army recruiting office. Oh, and what did they say? They wanted to know why I didn't want to join the British army. So I told them I'd been crossed in love. Oh, I bet they weren't very sympathetic. Oh, no, they were. They was really nice. They said I should definitely join the Legion. And they said the French deserve someone like me. We should let me do that. No, thank you. You could go upstairs and lie down. You, you've had a stressful day. Norris, when am I going to get through to you that I am perfectly capable of looking after myself? Yes. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. It, it's just that, well, I, I'd hate it if anybody or anything hurt you. I, I've only got... The two of you in the world now, you and Emily, and... That's as maybe. I just want to be able to protect you. And you tried, Norris. And the result is I'm now the laughingstock of Coronation Street. I'm sorry. Look, you are a good friend, and I do appreciate you. But please, give me credit for being a little bit mature and sensible. Yeah. Yes, of course. So you don't want me to help you clear up? No. You get off. I think I prefer the activity and the time by myself. Ah, of course. In, in the Rovers later? I'll think about it. Time wasters beware, oh dear. Well, I mean, what kind of man is going to go for a harridan like that? I wouldn't mind. Sounds very interesting to me. Yeah, like your normal wussy sort of woman. You know? mm, and there's an aura of honesty and directness, which is appealing. Really? Yeah. Up front and direct. Very sexy. Oh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Maybe I should put an ad in the paper. Saying what? Wanted. Man without wife, son without mother. Oh. <laughs> We're closed. You? What do you want? I don't know. I don't blame you. I said, what do you want? I think it's deal time, don't you? Come again. What you got this afternoon was just a taste of what's to come. What do you think the papers are going to say when the courts find you guilty? I've no idea. Oh, don't play the iron lady with me. You're going to get crucified and your business is going to go right down the pan. We'll see. <laughs> Look, love, I don't hold no grudges, me. I could see you were dead upset this afternoon. All I want is a bit of justice for me, little lad. But I don't have to ruin your reputation to get it. This is your settling out of court idea. It's a grown-up way to do things. Why should we make them lawyers rich, eh? What do you say? Three grand, I drop the charge, we forget all about it and get on with us lives, eh? Thank you. Eh? Thank you so much. All oh, right, so you agree? Do I, hell is like. I'm thanking you for giving me back my self-respect. Oh, I admit, I was. I was a bit down this afternoon. But knowing that there's still low life like you alive on this planet helps me realise where my rightful place is. And it's certainly not below you. Now, get out. I'll see you in court. Eh? We'll see about that. Here we go. Thanks for helping out, mate. Well, am I? What? You mate again? Yeah. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Oh, everything back to normal. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, you all right? Yeah. She really thinks I love you, you know, don't you, Mum? She? Um, you want me to add cheese and onion, is that right? Yeah, that's fine, my big <laughs> Look, I am really sorry about that in the paper. I didn't mean for it to hurt your feelings. I know you didn't love, and I'm touched about your concern for me. So, well, who knows, eh? <laughs> Excellent, you've come. Hello. Business as usual, Norris. Is there any other way? Now, what can I get you? That's uh, uh, two amontillados, two gin and tonics, and a vodka and tonic. Thank Am I you. right? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Rita, I am so glad to see you in here, you know. After what happened at lunchtime, I thought you'd be giving us all a very wide berth. Well, why should I? I have done nothing to be ashamed of. Hear, hear. Unlike some. Mm. Well, now she's offered me a discount on her deal. £3,000 and she'll drop all charges. No! Dreadful. Well, looks like you've got her on the wrong. Well done. Oh, I'm not so sure. It might not be a bad deal. After all, if Rita's found guilty, it could end up with her being sued anyway. You're not going to be found guilty, Blanche. The truth will out. This case is not about the truth, Emily. It's about who tells the best lie. And I'm afraid, as far as that is concerned, Scylla's got Rita beat hands down. Oh. Anyway, you all right, Rita? Well, I thought I was. But it looks like Monday isn't going to be a day I'll forget in a hurry. 